rather than speaking about something negative today, let's talk about some, some ways to bring people together. And there is a pretty big segment of the population that identifies, uh, these people identify as conservative or constitutionalist or the right or something like that, Republican. And then there's another decent sized group of people who consider themselves to be left or progressive or liberal or Democrats. And these two groups of people, I'd say combined, the people who really truly believe what their parties say, probably 10% on each side. So 20% of the people in the United States, adults, really truly believe with a little bit of passion one way or the other. And there seems to be this animosity. <clears throat> so sad seeing my friends, you know, kind of intellectually trying to fight with each other or just not being friends, being nasty on social media. And so um, I thought I would bring a little ray of sunshine uh, and say, hey, let's look at the areas where we are very similar. When I say we, <clears throat> I'm saying those two groups, not me. I'm kind of out there. I'm different. But, but I'm going to talk about the, the conservatives and the liberals and the areas of similarity. And so I, I've got a list here of things that I'm going to talk about. And so the first one is the question, is it acceptable for governments to take people's property from them without permission if the government calls it taxation? <clears throat> well, here's a wonderful area in which liberals and conservatives both agree. They say, yes, absolutely. Now, of course, each side is going to have some small disagreements about, you know, why the money is being taken. So a conservative might say, well, if you're going to use it for war or for enforcing the politicians' rules, you know, military law enforcement, that kind of thing, yes, you know, take as much money as you feel you need to from people and and it's okay. And then on the other side, a liberal uh, might say, well, no, we don't want to wage war and kill people, but it's okay to take a bunch of money from people against their will to steal from them as long as the the booty, the loot, whatever you want to call it, as long as those proceeds go to feeding people who are hungry and not at fancy restaurants, people who pay for it, but like giving free food to people who didn't go out and earn it or, or providing housing or all these other things, <clears throat> then the... Liberal would say, yeah, it's kind of okay to have taxation. So, hey, we have an area of agreement there. Both parties agree. Hey, it's okay to take money from people against their will to spend it the way that our party thinks it should be spent. So, I mean, if you have a friend, give them a little thumbs up. Hey, you guys agree there. That's kind of cool. Next thing I'm looking at, <clears throat> is it acceptable for the majority to tell the minority what they may or may not do with their lives? Once again, complete agreement. Now, there are going to be some degrees of difference, but both sides, liberals and conservatives, will say, yeah, I think it's okay to make a law saying that such and such should be required of everyone. Everyone has to do this thing or may not do this other thing, even on their own property, even in the privacy of their own home. We may control this person's life. This business owner may not pay their employee, whatever the two of them peacefully, voluntarily negotiate. That's not acceptable. We need to have a government step in and make a rule about that. Or There's so many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of examples. Almost every law is kind of an example of this. It's, it's the government saying you can or can't do something, and this is the penalty if you do it. So, <clears throat> again, big kudos to everybody who's getting along well. You both agree that the government has a right to control people's lives, even people who don't want to live by that stuff. The government can use force to force those people to live as the government would like them to live. So, hey, two for two. Three, is it acceptable for people calling themselves government to regulate business? And we kind of just talked about that. But can they say what a price should be or what it can't be? <clears throat> you know, if there's a big flood, can... Can some little tiny business person say, hey, I'm going to go buy a bunch of crates of water and make it worth my, you know, taking time off my day job and driving it down to this, this flood area um, where they need fresh, good drinking water. <clears throat> I'm going to charge five, ten bucks a bottle. And uh, can, can that be done? Well, no. Both parties once again agree it's important for the government to regulate business. And 
I'd conservatives even like the idea of way more regulation when it comes to like giving subsidies and, and saying, hey, you know, let's let's help this defense contractor get, you know, leg up on the competition. You know, like, let's just get in, let government get involved in business. And so both sides once again agree it's OK for government to be involved in regulating what businesses can and can't do. Zoning, like where can we have a business in this area? Can a private landowner own or start a business up on this private piece of land? Both liberals and conservatives once again agree, no, they cannot just do what they want. They have to get permission from the ruling, the the government to say, hey, it is okay for you to do business on your own property as you would like to. So once again, areas of agreement, congratulations, those of you that are getting along so well and agreeing so completely. Um, is it acceptable for governments to make their subjects fear or hate one or more of the following? Radical Muslims, global warming or and or global cooling, whatever it changes kind of decade to decade, uh, illegal immigrants, drugs, uh, inequality, these kinds of things. Yeah, it is. Both parties agree. It is just fine for the politicians and their the the press to really whip everyone up in a frenzy and either be petrified of these things and or or hate other people or be scared of them and and to just whip everyone at the mob up into this big fury uh, about whatever the little pet issue is uh, that day, month, week, year, decade. Um, so yeah, once again, both parties agree to that. So so far, we haven't really found any areas of disagreement other than little tiny degrees. I mean, a, a Republican might say it's okay to steal this percentage and a Democrat would say this percentage, but it's all, I mean, the, the principle doesn't change. It's either okay or it isn't okay to take money from people against their will. Both parties agree, yeah, it is okay. And it just becomes a matter of working out the details of what exact percentage it's going to be. So again, people agree. Both parties also agree that it is okay to bolster government's aura of legitimacy by signing petitions, by voting, and otherwise participating in the organization, the, the government organization's um, efforts to rule people. And so the Republicans will say, well, okay, I might not like the government. I might not like the current president or the Congress or the mayor or the county commissioner or the governor, but I'm going to vote. I'm going to say, hey, I recognize you guys have a right to rule over people and to tax people, and I'm going to be there to show my support for you. Even if I don't agree with you, I'm going to show that I support the office. I support the, the office of governor and the, the position within government. And both liberals and conservatives completely agree to get involved with the, the democratic process. You know, what can we do to, to go and talk to our senators and our our representatives to help them make rules to control our neighbors in the way that we want to have them controlled. And everyone agrees, Republicans and liberals, that's a-okay. So yet again, we have another area of agreement. So I hope by now, maybe you've texted a friend and you guys are getting ready to get together and play some Scrabble or, well, whatever is your style, whatever you enjoy. Is it okay to initiate violence by way of laws? Because without them, people with whom I disagree would do things that I think are bad or harmful, like laws about zoning, drugs, gay marriage, uh, living without a mask, working without a mask, being in public without a mask, that kind of thing. Is it okay to use the force of laws, the violence of laws, to have other people do what we want? Yes, liberals and, and, and conservatives are once again saying, yes, absolutely. It is okay, it is morally acceptable to use force to get that little group of people called government to make my neighbors do what I think they should do. So once again, in agreement as far as principle goes. Here's another question or another thought that we'll see if both liberals and conservatives agree about. Government is imperfect, but if it is the size I want and does the things I want, I think it's a necessary evil, and I'll support it. Yep, once again, big high five. 
liberals and conservatives completely agree. As long as it's the size and shape I want it to be, it might not be the greatest thing in the world, but it's got to be, and I support it. I'm behind it. So way to go, y'all, agreeing on yet another thing. I only have three more here. Um, <clears throat> whatever can be said of civilian small arms ownership, I strongly support my rulers and their staff being heavily armed. And so, you know, there might be some disagreement about whether or not, you know, private citizens should be able to protect themselves with tools, guns and such, or knives and that kind of thing. But at least Democrats and Republicans can agree that the ruling class, the, the people that run the show, that, that initiate the force and make other people do what the, what the voters want them to do, those people should have heavily armed Guards, and there should be lots of guns in existence. The police should have big, wonderful guns, and militaries should have big, wonderful guns. And that's something that both parties completely agree on, even if the individuals don't, because politicians are ge now there's some bad apples, but generally, most politicians are benevolent, they just want to help other people, they're not greedy, they don't. They, most politicians probably don't even accept paychecks. Maybe they do. I don't know if the congressmen do or the benefits that they're offered. But whatever the case, they're not in it for the money. They're just loving, wonderful, honest, good people who want to help others, except for a few corrupt ones. But for the most part, they're just really good people. And most Republicans and Democrats agree with this and want those people to be very well protected as they take money from the other citizens against their will. Next one, it is acceptable for the ruling class to surveil everyone because that will make us all safer. Yes, this is just, and this is, it might be a little bit slow in coming around back when the Republicans really wanted the Patriot Act 20 years ago or whatever it was, and the Democrats weren't really sure that they wanted to give up their privacy. But now the two sides, see, this is what I love about humans. People can come together and, and they can say, hey, yeah, the more I think about it, Yes, I think people should be tracked whether or not they've had a vaccine, whether or not they're, they're banking. The government should know to the penny, or at least to the dollar, what every person spends and earns and, and trades with someone else. Because if the government doesn't know that, like if two people were able to just have an exchange, sell a car for 20 grand to one another and not report that to the government, you'd have terrorism. The politicians wouldn't be able to steal five or ten percent or whatever county sales tax is on the, the, that vehicle. Like the government would not be able to steal that money. So Republicans and Democrats can agree. Perfectly acceptable way to go. Surveilling people, knowing financial business, knowing personal business, all that kind of stuff. Thank you, Snowden, by the way, for explaining this better, Ed Snowden, and kind of bringing in both sides, the Republicans and Democrats, together so they can both appreciate what they've created um, with their, their politicians. So another area, coming together, team, solidarity, way to go. The last one I have here is, uh, I, I get that most politicians are dishonest and generally bad people. However, I honor and support the men and women who use deadly force to enforce these immoral politicians' dictates. And so that is, again, something we kind of talked about this a little bit ago, but that's definitely also something that Republicans and Democrats agree about. It is okay to, to celebrate. It is actually kind of required to support the men and women in blue and to support our troops or, or the people who are paid not very well, but that are paid to kill the people that the politicians tell them to kill uh, and such. This, the, the government, the, the government's military and law enforcement, they should be celebrated. And yeah, there are a couple bad apples here and there, but overall, they're a wonderful group that, that puts people in prison and kills people and does important things like that, but only when told to by the group of people that are I guess a lot of people don't trust or like politicians. But anyway, <clears throat> those are that was just a short list of areas in which my Republican friends and my Democrat friends agree and kind of covers most of the big stuff. It seems like the areas in which you disagree are, are smaller. They're not that important. They're just they're little 
peripheral things, but in the big moral principles that I've talked about, you guys agree. How wonderful. How wonderful. So make a friend. Stop fighting with each other. Um, realize that together, if you guys just join together and quit quibbling and fighting, you could take over all of humanity and get rid of the libertarians and all these people. You could get rid of them and have a perfect utopian society. Wouldn't that be just be groovy?